I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your cattle market summary for the week ending September the 22nd where it was a short celebration this week as, as the markets were higher on all your feeder cattle we knew we were gonna we were in a good spot to get more money for our fat cattle this week the board was kind all week with a big jump on Wednesday near limit highs on live and feeder cattle contracts and then we come in and, and we we're talking earlier this week that we we thought sure we could get a buck eight you know buck seven we could settle for but we should sure should get eight and then i'll be darned uh, on friday afternoon early in the afternoon started selling cattle at a buck eight two dollars higher for the most part than than last week and then at two o'clock in the afternoon the cattle on feed report come out which is, is not a problem but those analysts missed the placements again it's just getting ridiculous that, that they have no better handle on things than what they have and then it comes out to be bearish the cattle on feed report basically anytime in and of itself is not either good or bad for the market it's just what it is compared to what these uh, analysts put their expectations out and uh, and it's really a disservice to the industry and to the market uh, having to, to compare what they're doing when they when they don't have any grasp of what they're doing uh, maybe they do uh, on the inventories and the marketings which are uh, tied real close to some some easy information but the placements they're just missing the forest for the trees and they do it again which makes that bearish and gives everybody a bearish feel but we did come back late and start selling fat cattle even higher than we did before that report so I'm thinking it'll be good this week too but look at the board for the week live cattle october contracts monday down 17 tuesday up 40 wednesday up nearly the limit up 297 thursday down 85 cents and friday up a dollar 47 with gains coming in after we start hearing word of the higher trade feeder cattle for october monday was up a dollar 30 tuesday up 85 cents wednesday up nearly the limit there too up 447 thursday down a buck 40 and then friday back up 22 cents to end the week at 156.10 which was up five dollars and 45 cents for the week now you look at uh, november feeders they're up a little more than that so we continue to see uh people going to be pushing on these bigger yearling cattle but uh, i tell you what that's going to be good for the calf market too because there's a lot of calves coming in a lot of those calves will be sneaking into the index and and if we continue to hold things up there then then they're going to sell well too but uh your april <clears throat> fed cattle are near 122 at the end of the week so uh we've got you know 10 or 11 bucks to run there uh this winter if, if things hold true but you look at the fat cattle trade uh, through Thursday in the five area feeding region had only sold 1100 head any country sale barn has a 1100 head these days in this time of year but that's all the fats we had sold in the entire five area feeding region on a direct basis but we come in there on uh, Friday start selling them at a buck eight that was great uh, everybody was excited to do that uh, then then later in the afternoon Nebraska never would give in Nebraska kept holding and and your western areas in Colorado uh, Bleeding over into Wyoming, but western Nebraska would not give in at that buck eight Well, they started selling their cattle even higher 170 to 172 on a dress basis and then real late Friday afternoon We started seeing some buck nine and buck nine and a half from that western Nebraska, Wyoming, Colorado area in there where those guys had their heels dug in like they were bulldogging. But uh, you know, that's two to three bucks higher on a live basis, three to five bucks higher uh, dressed. Some of those late live sales would be three and a half higher. Uh, really good taking some of that uh, market position back. The slaughter was good this past week. I had a big Saturday, 58,000 head expected there, 637,000 total over the whole week, which was just 5,000 off last week, which was the biggest week that we'd had uh, so far this year, and 41,000 more than the same week a year ago. Box beef cut out values on the average of last week's trade. Uh, the choice was up 95 cents at 191.98. Uh, selects were down just six cents at 188.44 with a real narrow spread there three dollars and 54 cents and a pretty good movement not as big as is uh the week prior but over 700 loads and that's pretty decent but uh 
that cattle on feed report. Okay, I'm going to go through this one more time, guys. The way you uh, try to estimate those placements, 15, 16 years ago when I was with USDA, I revamped that national feeder cattle summary where each week it quoted every hoof that a federal or state market reporter kept track of in all the sale barns across the country. Now we didn't get all of them of course, there's a lot of sale barns that aren't reported and you couldn't get somebody there every week, but it was a pretty good test of them. Okay, we had every one that was reported in the whole land. Okay, so you take that number, not the directs or the, or the internets, because those are mostly for, for out front future delivery, but you take those auction receipts and every week uh, that it's in the week in the month that you're looking at, which we're looking at August, if you took all of those weeks that, that had cattle being placed in August, you totaled them up and compared them to a year ago, if you did that, you come out to about 99.5%. That's where you start. And then you can tweak it from there. Uh, you guys want to do use uh, sports scores or, or uh, you know horoscope or whatever you, they're, they're doing there. They can use that to tweak with. I would think that you would take that 99 and a half and then crank it up just a little bit because we know that we've rebuilt our herds. We probably have you know four percent more calves than this uh, this calf crop than what we had. A lot of those were coming early enough where they were being placed. Uh, during this time so you crank that up a little over a hundred percent okay the average of the analyst guess was 96.8 percent the actual come in at 102.6 there was somebody in that uh, average of the analyst guess one of those analysts pegged it at 88.3 percent uh, where, where would they come up with something like that well, we know we've got more cattle than that uh, it's just you know, maybe they should take some basic lessons on which end of the steer gets up first and then maybe start from there and move on. But uh, just no fundamentals at all. Can't see the forest for the trees. Looking at, at uh, lines on a graph and numbers rather than just standing back and looking at what's going on in the industry. You look at your September 1st inventories, the actual come in at 103.6. Uh, the estimate was at 102.7 and they missed that a little bit low, which is a touch bearish too, but when you miss the placements that far, uh, that's going to happen. Your marketing's come in right on the money, which we know exactly how many cattle are slaughtered every day, so how tough is that to figure? But uh, <clears throat> the actual come in at 105.9, the average of the guesses was 106, so right on the money. But uh, look at some feeder markets for the week. Real-time index on Beef Market Central based on the 800-pound steer late on Friday was at 152.96, which was up 305 for the week, which goes right in with your auction market trends for the week, which were steady to five bucks higher. Uh, calves very uneven. Uh, Northern Plains, you know, some of them farmer feeders are coming in and buying calves to feed because that April board looks pretty good. So they're buying calves to feed up in the Northern Plains. The Southeast is good because you guys in the Southern Plains are starting to order uh, the lightweight calves with a little touch of ear, some hybrid vigor and, and some age to them to turn out on wheat. But in the Southern Plains, the local calves right there, those Okie Tok calves, not selling the best. Uh, just a mixture of a lot of them that are unweaned and some of them are weaned. We don't have our best reputation string starting to come to town yet. A lot of the guys are busy sowing wheat, so they're just not ready for calves yet, and that's kind of the way it was, but calves were very uneven. But you look at some individual quotes late in the week there in South Coffeyville, Oklahoma, which is a really good test of the market right in the center of the, of the trade area there. At, uh, just before 4 o'clock on Friday, they had 75 head of 660-pound Okie-Tok cattle bring 169 so that's a good test of market then a high end of the market in bloomington wisconsin at the livestock exchange there they sell them high up there too guys at 110 in the afternoon had 56 head of 929 pound steers bring 152.75 that's a look at your week's markets from home db auction office here in canyon texas we'll talk to you next week